Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be showing you guys seven pieces of mine that embody my personal style. All of these pieces I connect with on a deeper level, y'all. Some of these pieces I wear like two to three times a week. So without further ado, let's hop right to it. So for the first piece that describes my style as well as me a little bit is this Ruta Bear dress, you guys. And I have talked about this dress on my channel before, but I absolutely love it and I feel like it it captures who I am because I'm a bit of a drama queen. <laughs> I can be a bit of a drama queen. That is one thing I know about myself. And one thing I feel like a lot of people dear to me will probably say, not that I'm like a brat or anything, but. And as you guys can see, this dress is very dramatic with the poofy sleeves and the long train and the ruffle going across the bottom. Another way that this dress embodies my personal style is that it is very fashionable but also very practical because it has pockets. And for me, I don't really wear just a fashion piece. If it's like, I won't wear it if it's uncomfortable or if it isn't something, yeah, I won't wear it if it just doesn't make me feel comfortable. That's the only way I won't wear a piece. But I love a piece that makes sense and is also very fashionable. So the fact that it has pockets, I mean, I don't have to carry a bag and I could just be carefree for the day and, and look amazing. Nextly, you guys, is gonna be my cargo pants. And I feel like my cargo pants definitely embody who I am because I'm somewhat of a hardcore person, so to speak. Like, I write really hard. Like, everything I do is just hard. Like, walk fast, I walk heavy. So, I feel like military pants are just very fit for me. Especially too because I feel like I'm not like super girly and I feel like when you do think military wear you do think a little bit more like hardcore and I'm hardcore but I'm also kind of girly and I also love the fact of mis mixing pieces that are very feminine or very hardcore with the total opposite. I wore them yesterday and I wore them with like a marginal dress to give them more of like a light feminine feel. They're like a cool sexy and I feel like that's the best type of sexy. The next piece that embodies my style is gonna be this Sune polo. And I actually don't wear this piece enough, probably because it's like green and purple and I'm like, I can't wear this every day because it's just not everyday type of colors. But nonetheless, I love it. And I definitely feel like it captures my style because I am one to wear pieces that will evoke change in some people's minds. Like I feel like for a lot of people when they think of a rugby polo, they may think of a jock associated with some stereotypes that you see on TV or social media, which I feel like for the most part, when I think rugby, I think back to high school and like all of like, you know, the jocks would wear polos and shit like that. But obviously I'm not a jock, you know, I'm a black bald head female. So I like that irony. Yeah, I just really love the fact that I put a different face to a stereotype when I wear that. And also I love men's wear, especially like men's tops and men's like jackets, which is really all I can wear because I can't fit men's pants, unfortunately. But I live for men's wear, okay? Especially because I have broad shoulders, so I just feel like it just works for my proportions. I also love things that are like really boxy and long at the arms because I just feel comfortable that way because I have really long arms. So if something that's like long and can come, you know, past my arms or over my hands, like I'm like very, very happy. I just feel really cool and like odd a little bit when I wear that polo, but very, very cool. Nextly, you guys, a piece that totally embodies my style is a slip dress. If you know me, okay, y'all, y'all know that I am not afraid to be topless damn near. I love, love, love a human body. I love seeing people who are comfortable in their skin. And I hate people that sexualize people in their skin. I feel like if you're comfortable in your skin, you should definitely embrace it. And I haven't always been comfortable in my skin like most people, but now I'm at the point in my life, it's just like, this is who I am and I, it's time for me to embrace it. So I love, love, love something that shows off my body in a very simple, gentle way, like a slip dress. This one in particular that I got actually three years ago from like Urban Outfitters for like $15 and it's like my most favorite slip dress. I actually don't even think it's like uh, outside wear. I think it's like um, pajamas, like a little slip dress that you're supposed to wear around the house. But I love to wear with like my dirty Ralph Simmons, for my Rick Owens and I love the the low scoop in the front. I feel like it shows enough of my chest without showing my boobs. And also the low back. I feel like I have a nice back, so it accentuates that. 
Next, you guys, getting into linen. Now, absolutely anything linen, I feel like, embodies my personal style because I love, love, love linen. I'm pretty sure y'all know that by now. The reason why I feel like linen definitely captures me as a person is because linen is just known to be very lightweight and textured, and it's also a fabric that's not too soft and not too hard, which I would definitely describe me as a person as. Also, I feel very vibrant when I wear linen because it's a fabric, of course, that is of the earth. So when you're outside and it just blows in the wind. But I chose this black linen tunic slash dress that I got a couple years ago from Neiman Marcus. And I love it because it's black, okay? This piece, because it's black, I wear all year round. I know when you think linen, you think, you know, pretty much summer only, but I feel like because this piece is black, I love to pair it with like really um, thick denim in the winter time. And of course, I like to wear it as a dress or pair it with like denim shorts in the summertime. Nextly, you guys getting into my derbies. I love these so, so much. They are from the brand Want Less Essential, which is a French Canadian brand. So this shoe, this derby, you guys, I'm a bit of a nerd and I love, again, wearing things that you don't think would work for the certain person. And I feel like for this derby, you would expect for someone like Dexter, <laughs> Dexter to wear this shoe. I love how masculine they are. Actually, my favorite way to wear my derbies is a full on masculine look. So I like to wear them with like a collar shirt and a nice pant. Lastly, you guys, I'm pretty sure somebody guessed it. My Rick Owens Ramones. Ever since I got wind of Rick Owens and did a little bit of research on him too in high school and figuring out what he stood for in like the fashion world. And to me, he just stood for people like me that um, aren't necessarily looked at as the um, traditional cool or people that are ostracized for being different. He embraced everything about that. I've always been a Rick fan. I will always be a Rick fan. So to me, my Rick Owens say that I don't care what you think of me. And also because there's a huge following behind Rick Owens, there's also a band of other motherfuckers that also don't care what they, you think of them. And we all embrace that way of living. And also, it captures my style because they are leather and rubber and things that are, aren't easily destructible, like myself, okay? I would like to think of myself as a very strong person. And Sorry, I have to cut it, cut it, <laughs> cut it. No, but I totally forgot to film an ending, so that is the end of this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I was thinking about doing maybe a part two because these are only a couple of pieces I feel like they really truly embody my style, but I feel like there's also more that embodies my style. Um, but if you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.